Well, it's too hot to go out in the garden today, so time for collecting. Uh, Lizzie, this should be about part seven. I don't think I've numbered them well, but um, anyhow, uh, I was sitting at my dining room table, and you see right away this great little frame I had found at a local antique shop, and it just fit with um, the six little ovals all of the folks that we're interested in. So this is an idea for your little Lizzie display. If you find an antique frame, um, you can copy and print out some little photos. Uh, and then you can live with all of this every day. Uh, also, in Rhode Island, and I'm finding often you get the best buys on Fall River material, outside of Fall River in Massachusetts. Things seem to be cheaper in other states. This is a item, eh, it might be late 1890s, probably more turn of the century. And it says Maple Street Laundry, which is, Maple Street is where the Fall River Historical Society is. This one is 680. There's the telephone number, when telephone numbers only had three digits. And it's uh, from, a, you know, a local business. They would send these for, uh, I think this one at one time might have had a calendar attached to it um, to promote services or businesses. And they're beautiful chromolithographs that you would hang in the kitchen. I'm sure the Bordens had uh, something like this um, hanging around, either in the bedroom or in the kitchen. So... This was, I think, $10, and it came with another one that I can't at the moment put my hand on uh, for a different type of business. The other little thing I found was this great 1892 calendar. It's very tiny, uh, maybe 3 inches by 2 inches. And you open it up. Let me lie it down flat here. It's from Whitford & Johnson. And it's right on Main Street in Waltham. And I think it's a jewelry company. And what I find amazing and get a little chill is when I look at an 1892 calendar and look at the date, Thursday the 4th, it sort of makes the whole story become real to me and not just something I've read in a book or seen in, in a movie, but it somehow August 4th really did happen. All of that really did happen, which is what I love about history and fact rather than fiction. I find history and facts are usually far more interesting than anything you could make up. Another thing I picked up this week, <clears throat> I, I like to collect letterheads from Fall River Businesses. This is from Allen Slade and Company. It's a grocer's. And yes, that is Charles Allen who owned Maplecroft. That's his family business. And this is dated um, in the 1880s. They're on Bedford Street. And just to see what sort of things people did order. Valencia oranges and dates. Oh, what else? The handwriting is sometimes really, really hard to read. Uh, nutmeg, a whole nutmeg. And you would get your bill. Let's see what the total is. $33. Mostly it looks like fruits and nuts and stuff. But that's that's our Mr. Allen. And that's another little connection to the Lizzie story. So when you do your display of your collectibles, uh, you have this. One of my favorite things I found on eBay, just by typing in tomahawk pin. And look what showed up. Let me get this on plain fabric so you can see it better. I collect hatchet jewelry. I found these things in odd places over the years. At one time, uh, Providence was very, very famous for costume jewelry. These are from Coro, C-O-R-O, 
when I first moved to the Fall River Providence area in 1972, I can remember the Coro sign on the Providence uh, skyline. They're very well made as 50s, 1940s and 50s jewelry tended to be costume jewelry. Nicely faceted, heavy. These are faux seed pearls and garnets. I paid $4 for one. The other one was on eBay for 16 And I'd not seen these before, but we'll have fun wearing those. And I'm really enjoying my watch, by the way. I wear it every day, and people notice it, and I get to talk about Lizzie. Well, over the August 4th weekend, my old friend from Ohio presented me with something I'm so excited about and I've been looking for for a while. You might remember I've shown you the Eli Bentz uh, bottle from uh, New Bedford, where Bentz opened his own pharmacy in 1894. But later on in life, he moved, uh, remarried um, after his wife Sarah had died, and opened a pharmacy in uh, Pittsfield, Massachusetts, which is out near Lenox. And I've actually been to Pittsfield twice looking for Eli Bentz bottles. This says Bentz's Pharmacy. And this one actually says Eli Bentz. And then there's the street address, I think. I think that's what that says, something street. Don't have my glasses handy. But I really, really treasure now that I have uh, Eli Bentz's pharmacy bottles, both from uh, New Bedford and also from Pittsfield. He is one of my very favorite people uh, in the Borden story. Um, I also picked up some great postcards. Let's see the one I wanted to show you. This is actually New Bedford, not too far from where Bentz did have his, his pharmacy. And so that's useful. Also this week, uh, I found a great postcard locally here of the Hosea Knowlton New Bedford uh, School. Hosea Knowlton was a big cheese. I know Lizzie's attorney, George Robinson, gets all the credit, but really Knowlton was uh, his equal, I should say, and so was Mr. Moody, and then some. I collect, as you might remember, uh, Lizzie cards and another cute little card. This was actually done in Germany. So that's going in the collection. I like to find greetings from various uh, Lizzie-related places. Marion is very difficult to find, and Fall River for some reason. But this one's lovely, and I like the little violets. Let's see, is it anything on the back of it? Okay, nobody we know. I like the used ones. Let's see, the date is, well, can't make out the date. Probably turn of the century. These were very, very popular. This is a real pretty one. I'll think of some uses for this on our website. And I'd been looking for this one for a while and found it not in Taunton. This is the train station. Uh, it's easy to find the Fall River train station postcards and photos, but this is where Lizzie would have gotten off on her way to prison, um, off at this station here. So there's our little collection uh, for this week, and good stuff is out there. So even though it's warm, get out there and start hunting, because there's lots of treasures, and I'm convinced probably much more Lizzie material and photos for you all to find, no matter what state you live in. I think you'll be finding things if you uh, just have the patience to wade through lots of boxes and oh, ask questions and hunt on eBay and all sorts of collectible sites. You can find great stuff to augment your own little Lizzie collection. And um, that's all for today. 
I think it's time to go out and deadhead the roses. Happy hunting!